Hey guys, I'm Deshaun, and I am here bringing you another trial from Scrolls. And today we're going to play Men at War, which is just an upgrade on Men at Arms, I guess. But anyway, you agree to aid a friend... I am really bad at reading. I don't know why I can't read. Anyway, you agree to aid a friend's army in conflict, but when you arrive at the battlefield, your charmer's nowhere to be found. He nervously drunk much ale the previous night and is now trapped in a sound slumber. It's too late to turn back. You begin calling as daunting silhouettes pace down the mountainside. Trial details. To show through your opponent's idols when your opponent's idols begin with five health. Your opponent begins a battle with a knight scholar and an honorable general. That honorable general was a pretty good card, I think. Oh god, he's got some stuff. This doesn't seem fair at all. He's got honorable general. Become When it becomes zero, all adjacent units have their countdown. This thing... Wow. You can either draw cards or just murder people. All right, so that's fair. Oh, but I get some I get some resources to begin with at least. So um I'm going to sacrifice this wall and play oh, I could have played the sister of the fox first to see if I wanted to sacrifice this card more. Champion's ring is okay though. But yeah, I mean, these things have six health. I'm not killing those anytime soon. That's here. I can mana ramp a little bit. Might want to do that. So I'm just going to sacrifice Champion's Ring. Maybe a mistake. And then play... I should have put this in the middle. But I'm going to play that here. See, I don't... I don't want him to just move over with the general and kill it. But I want to play Vatir and Frostbeard. So I guess I'll play Vatir all the way over here and Frostbeard all the way out here. Um, and hope that works. At least helps me survive until next turn. So wait, this thing can attack. Oh, because, dear god. It took him two turns to destroy one of my towers. This is rough. Okay. Um, mm hmm. So, these things won't attack for a while though, so I can actually kill one of them at least with this Kinfolk Veteran. Um, yeah. So, um, do we want to get rid of any of these cards? I don't think so, they're all really- maybe I should have gotten, the Great Wolf, gotten rid of the Great Wolf, I don't really need that thing. Um, does it- okay. Champion's Ring. We don't quite need Champion's Ring. Um, I think I want to play Rallying so I can kill that. Um, let's get rid of this Champion's Ring. And then just play Rallying so I can kill this stupid thing and it won't kill my guy. And I can actually destroy one of his towers right here, which is pretty sweet. If I had sacrificed the Great Wolf, then I would have been able to destroy two towers. In fact, I would have just been able to win. If I had just ignored this unit, I could have just destroyed two towers. So, that was pretty dumb, I guess, on my part. Um, let's get some cards. Maybe they'll help. Alright, so, we're just going to play this wolf. This thing's about to attack next turn. Um, no big deal, though. And then, ship the turn. Yeah, he's just going to go ahead and kill my kinsfolk. A jerk. Ooh, I got I can get a Yarl out. He'd be pretty strong too. So I can destroy this tower. Um Mangy Wolf won't be enough to pump up my guy, but I'm just gonna sacrifice this for a couple of cards and see if I can No, there's no way I can uh destroy that. But what I can do is I can play this wolf and uh destroy at least one tower here. And then maybe next turn, since I'm going to have another main jewel, if I can destroy this tower. Push back. Oh, he returned the stupid wolf to my hand. That doesn't matter, though. Um, he just moved that guy up, which is pretty useless. And now oh, I have rallying as well. And this guy can attack as well. So, yeah. That wasn't too bad. My opponent didn't really play any cards, did he? Hey, I destroyed four towers. Idols. Or whatever. I guess that was a pretty easy victory. I don't know why they made that one so easy. 
But I want to get to 1,000 so that I can open another pack. So I may as well just do another one of these. Um, Alright, men of faith during an otherwise enjoyable meal debate over the nature of religion turned sour. It's rooted in semantics and annoying, circular, in, annoyingly circular in structure. A foolhardy colleague challenges a gang of priests to prove their faith on the battlefield, so you step in to defuse the situation. Before you know it, your idols are taking hits from a mysterious force. This will not do. So he has full idols, they're at level, they're at 10 health or whatever, and he begins a battle with a pre deployed shrine and three sinmarked zealots. Doesn't seem very fair, but we will battle to the death. What are Sinmarked Zealots? I've definitely seen this card before. Um, it can deal. It can be sacrificed to deal two damage to a unit. Again, not seem very fair, and I'm not. A, I didn't start at anything this time, so um, we're gonna sacrifice this Yarl. I don't really think I'm gonna be getting to seven anytime soon. And I'm just going to play this Junkyard. Maybe he'll sacrifice his units for... Oh, what does this thing do? When it's in play, all units you control get plus one health. And he just played this Monument, which is just a 0-5. No problem. Alright, let's sacrifice his Champion's Ring. And Vitality Well up here. Store some health for my uh, my junkyard over there, and hopefully in a couple of turns I can get these brother of the wolves out and uh, start mass producing wolves, and then eventually draw into a great wolf. Ooh, frost gale is not going to be that enticing. Never mind. <laughs> All right, so hopefully the card that I draw next isn't so good. Otherwise, I can just get rid of the kinfolk veteran. Unfortunately, uh, my junkyard went down, but it it saved me some saved me some damage. So. We just drew into another Kinfolk Veteran, which I guess I could have played just to kill one of his Sinmark Zealots, which might have been a good idea in hindsight. But, um... Alright, I got Brave Kinfolk. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play another Brother of the Wolf. And then again, ship the turn since I... I guess I could have sacrificed the Kinfolk Veteran, but... Um, Alright, so now we are just going to be <laughs> um, attacking my opponent with Wolves. Basically for the rest of the day, the rest of the game, summon a wolf right over here. I don't need this. And sacrifices for resources. And um, let's get a veteran up here and charge on into battle. Deal one damage to a tower. Kill a Sinmark zealot. He still got a whole bunch of cards in hand. Um, I don't like that thing. It's really gigantic right now. I mean, it's just got a ton of health. So, let's summon another wolf, I guess. I guess over here. And then it can move over here. And then I can play Kinfolk Brave. And Mangy Wolf. No, not Mangy Wolf as well. Um, I think I want to keep the Mangy Wolf around, though. Oh, he's about to be able to kill this. Oh no, he just sacrificed it to kill my my two two guy that attacks every turn. I like that guy. That's too bad. Uh, let's sacrifice this for some cards. Frost Gale. I don't really need that. Um, I could play this Frostbeard, and it's going to be sweet because if he decides to kill it, then I can just. Oh, I know what I want to do. I can get in for a ton of damage um, with my wolves that are just chilling around. And I'm going to have a ton of wolves, hopefully. So, I can get three damage off on that tower. What is this thing? Oh, no, that seems really powerful. And he's walled behind an army. Did I sacrifice something? Yeah, I sacrificed for cards, I think. So yeah, if he just decides to go ahead and kill this thing, then he's going to take a whole bunch from my wolves, which he doesn't think are going to be able to attack, but when I play Mangy Wolf... Oh. Uh, he just drew a card instead. Okay, that's that's fair. Let's get rid of this Frost Gale. Mangy Wolf. Let's summon a wolf. Um, but instead, we'll summon it over here. 
and let's play this thing. Wait, um, oh no, that that won't do. We don't want to lose this mage wolf for no reason. I really could use like a crimson bowl or something like that. So he just destroyed Frostbeard, dude. Right? Oh, but he didn't destroy it in combat, so it doesn't get the bonus. That sucks. Ooh, great wolf. Thank you. This thing is absolutely huge for me right now. Um, let's move this. Oh, I already moved this guy up. That was dumb. I should have moved him over. Um... Sacrifice this for a couple of cards. Maybe a resource. Eh, yeah, cards. And we ready to attack? Yeah. I'm gonna have to break through one of these gigantic monster things at some point. So he managed to kill one of those guys, but we got this um this massive wolf ready to get in there um, let's draw a couple of cards we got a crimson bull so um, we don't have enough to play the crimson bull and the mangy wolf this turn though unfortunately so instead I'm just gonna play this mangy wolf and uh, it's gonna be it I'm just gonna charge in there with everything we've got monstrous armies of wolves. That thing just took out an 8 and then kept going. What a boss. Alright, so these things pump each other up and they're gonna kill a couple of my guys, which sucks, but uh, worse things have happened. Ooh, Rumble can be really good right here. But first, oh, this thing can attack. Hmm. Maybe I should just do this. Summon a wolf here, that way I can kill that and uh, not worry about rumbling this turn, maybe next turn. So, um, we've got all these things. Uh, I guess we should start moving this army over since there's no reason to have it there. And uh, maybe put a champion's ring on this thing. And put a ranger's bane on one of these does that even make sense probably not um, let's put a let's grab a binding root and make it into some resources um, and I don't really want to play rumble until I kill this thing so might just be it I guess I'll just put a ranger's bane on this it'll do at least one damage to it before I get there and so I've destroyed two of his towers, so now I just need to do one more. Uh, he, t he just did one to each of the things in that row. That's pretty sweet for him. So it looks like I actually just win. Like, he just literally gave me the win. I don't really understand. But I'm not going to complain. Um, got a mangy wolf. Give this thing plus something or other. And then cast this Crimson Bull. Dear God, that is just a ton of power. These things are all doing nothing. That's pretty funny. Yep, that'll do it. 12 damage to a tower. Just 12. And, <laughs> man, okay. So that was, that was some destruction, even though he started with way more things. And uh, now let's just go buy another pack. And then we'll be done with the video for today. So we got a Gravelock Outcast. It's got Regenerate. That's cute. It's like exactly the same as Magic. Law Memorial. When it comes into play, increase order by one. Junkyard. Vitality Well. Blood Boil. I haven't seen this one yet. When a chanting unit takes damage, increase the unit's attack by one. Eh, not very good. Uh, I have all these cards. Ooh, another Crimson Bull. That's nice. Honorable General. We just saw this guy. Good card for my opponent. 
Um, maybe, uh, maybe I'll just start trying to save up to buy one of these other decks, like maybe this order deck or something like that, but it'll be a little while before I get there, I guess. But yeah, alright, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Have a nice day. Bye.